very partisan crowd, which is what you're there for anyway. You don't want it easy. If you're a, a visitor and you're playing international sport, uh, you know you're going to cop some and you're going to be, uh, as an opening batsman, your number one target, if you like. David Lloyd, who's uh, in as an opening batsman, he said at a team meeting that Thompson wasn't a worry to him. He said that he could play Thompson with um, what is laughingly known as his appendage. And he set out and proved it. Thompson to Lloyd. And hit badly there that time. It was a nasty one. And I'm very square on. Uh, and you, you just have that moment, glimpse. Gosh, I hope this hits the bat. Well, it missed, and everybody knows where it hit me. I used to love left-handers, because of the way a bowl they used to go away, and then you'd straighten one up and jag back at them. Well, that's what happened, and it's just cleaned him up right in the midriff, and he's gone down a right. It's, it's 1974, and all cricketers would remember what, what I was wearing what for protection. There was only one thing that you wore, and it was a pink thing, and it's a pink lights, and, and it had holes in it this pink lights them, completely useless for the job that it was supposed to do. And you can use them now in bathrooms in, in, as an accessory. You can put your soap in there now. That's about as much use as they are. I'll put this as politely as I can, that everything that should have been inside that pink lights them had found its way through these holes and was trapped now on the outside. No wonder I somersaulted into the floor. Just landed straight on my head. There was bits and pieces hanging out everywhere. It was a very, very delicate operation, like a jigsaw puzzle, to get the bits out without doing more damage. I swear to you that that particular day, we didn't need a doctor, we needed a welder to get this box and all its contents pulled apart, so I lose, my, I, I lose my voice every February, and I put that down to Jeff Thompson, yeah. The on-field success of the Australian team and the public fascination with Lily and Tomo saw sell-out crowds flocking day after day to the tests. In the 70s, carrying in eskies full of beer was permitted. However, there were some restrictions. Patrons were limited to 24 cans per person. How times have changed. <laughs>